All right, back at it again. This video comes after I just did the uh, the unexpected sequel on the uh, last one for this uh, Ross Chastain car. We got Bush Light, nice one right there. Um, this one comes afterwards. Um, I just figured I'd do a quick video because, first of all, I got 13% left on my phone. Uh, for my phone battery. Second, this one now has a time limit for the first time in a few years where it's, I've got 41 minutes and 10 seconds to make a video. And obviously, it won't be that long, but just thought I'd open a few cars just for fun. And plus, I've got this, uh, all these uh, cards that I have to mail in, so I just figured I'd open some up for now first one up is one that I actually cannot mail because it's uh, too old it's a uh, Shelby Cobra 427 S slash C this one's from 2004 the pride ride series um, I think this one might have a variation either this one or one that was released on a later date I'm not sure but yeah let's go ahead and Open this up. Surprisingly tough to open this one. Yeah. Sorry. This one's got some nice details. It's got the white stripes, two white stripes down the middle. You got the three spokes. Racing harnesses, the Pride Reds logo, the old Hot Wheels logo they'd put on all the cars from back then. And then, one that I'm sure you're waiting to see. Come on. Well, it's kind of hard to see, but it's got this opening hood with the engine inside. There you go. Hard to see, but there it is. Yeah, metal base, metal body, so this thing really could uh, send if you set it down like a downhill track. It rolls pretty well, too. One of my favorite guys to watch on YouTube, YBR, he made a, uh, I shouldn't put it there. He made a uh, video back in 2016 or 2017. Uh, an April Fool's video where he made a VMNG Drive uh, mod review on a Shelby Cobra. Something akin to this. I think it was the exact same one, but it was a different die cast model, I think. It was a red one. Terry just kind of, you know, simulated where he was on grid, grid map, sorry. And he just dropped stuff like the block or something like that. Like an eraser. So yeah, we give it a push, it accelerates, there's no damage physics for it, so you can see, uh, no damage sustained, keep, keep driving this thing forever, engine won't overheat, pretty cool stuff, uh, there we go, second one up, King Kuda, this is the Art Cars, See, uh, release for this year. Now they had something like this all the way back in 2018, the Checkmate series. Um, remember that series? I thought that thing when it came out, when the series came out, I thought that thing was the uh, coolest thing I'd ever seen. Um, what was weird about that? The uh, 2018 though was that. I think that year, or 2017, they had 365 cars, contrary to the usual 250 that they've had for a while now, but yeah, 365 cars, that's practically one car made a day, essentially, then you have to factor in all the uh, recolors and the variations and stuff like that, it's like, man, it's a lot, a lot of cars. Yeah, this one, 
Got the Ace of Hearts up top, King of Hearts on the sides, Jack of Hearts. I think it's just all hearts on this one. Yeah, Queen of Hearts. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, uh, beautiful. Sorry, paint job on this uh, King Kuda. Yeah, I love the King Kuda. Used to think it was a fantasy model, but no, it's a it's a Barracuda. Very, very nice. What was Uber 2018 too? Was that the Checkmate series? And I think a few other ones had a uh, nine cars in each one compared to the usual uh, ten or five or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, really nice car. Because I play a lot of solitaire, like Spider, Scorpion, Klondike, Canfield, uh, what else? Uh, Free Cell, all the good ones. Really fun game. Absolutely love it. Super Impreza, right here from 07. Track Stars. Yeah, these are tough to open. Unusually tough to open. No wonder the Ripping 10 challenge was, you know, a challenge because uh, those cards were freaking hard to open back then compared to the newer ones. Yeah, Super Impreza. Now, this is back when it had the uh, spoiler um, as its own separate piece. Um, I don't have a sample near me right now. I have one in another room, but um, I'm not sure where it is though but yeah super impreza sometime in the 2010s i want to say like the mid 2010s it got this uh spoiler cast into the body so no longer is it a separate piece it is now part of the um body yeah pretty cool release this one i got this year from part of the lincoln's toy show uh hot wheels buy and sell events that I go to almost every month. It's a lot of fun. They got a lot of cars. If you're in the Chicagoland area, I definitely recommend checking it out. You got a lot of good stuff there. And I think this one I got for five bucks compared to eBay's like ten, fifteen, twenty bucks. Yeah. This thing first came out in the WRC series in oh four with the Peugeot, the Subaru Impreza and then uh I forgot what Peugeot it was, 205, some wacky uh, three-digit number. And then the, okay, so it was Peugeot, Subaru. Oh, wait, this is a Subaru, I forgot. So, yeah, um, the Lancer, the Peugeot, the Subaru, and the Ford Focus, there we go. Ford, Subaru, Mitsubishi, and Peugeot, there you go. Yeah, cool cars in that uh, series. Um, I think the only ones that made it out decent were the, uh, really just this one, the Impreza. You know, the Mitsubishi uh, Lancer, or I forgot what it was called, Evo Lancer 7 something. That one still gets released time to time, uh, every so often though. This one gets released every few years. And then the Ford Focus we haven't seen since 2011 to 2012. Sorry. And the Peugeot, uh, that was its only release. So, glad to see that this one is still doing well for itself. I tried to get that one back in uh, 2020 for an eBay bid, and I forgot what happened i think i just i know i lost it but i don't know if it was because i just forgot to bid on it or i had a uh, i'm just bid uh too low of an amount and then i got beat out or something like that i don't know yeah bmw m3 wagon this one's new for 2024 you want to read what it says uh Right here. Sorry, I might have to tell your screen. 1982, Munich, Germany. Uh, there we go. 
You're going to have to read it on your own. Oh, right into the Subaru. This one's got the new wheels. Uh, I think the Wiki, uh, Hot Wheels Wiki refers to them as uh, exotic 10 spokes, I want to say. Or something, I don't know. Exotic something spokes. I don't really know. And I should not look it up before this video. But yeah, this is a really, really nice uh, paint job that it has. It's got the red, white, and blue. This, uh, I want to say metal flake blue, uh, paint job. Looks absolutely beautiful. Nice design on the hood. I like how the, the front end is like a different color. Like the headlights and the part of the grill are like black and then the bumper is blue to match with the, uh, body. It's kind of something that you don't see all too often anymore see like where the license plate would be or at least i think that's where the license plate would be that's a uh it's a white with interior i believe it's hard to see since it's tinted but yeah interior is white uh really nice design really cool car really cool wagon I should say there's a base The little exhaust pipe right there. It's pretty sweet. That rolls good too. I like this one. I think I've got another one of those. Now let's move on from those Hot Wheels. Move on to some Matchbox cars. It's 2022 Nissan Townstar. I might look funny that I'm trying to open it like this, and it actually sort of is because there's no way I'm going to be able to open it like that. It's just. There you go. New for 2024 as well. Oh, packs even been like that. But yeah. Um, I don't know how to feel about this, uh, packaging, because, don't get it wrong, or don't get me wrong, it does look really nice to where you can see, like, half the cars on the box, half of it's sticking out like this, um, but I feel like it'd make it a lot more easier to steal, though. I think this is, like, a compostable uh, yeah, compostable, it's hard to see because of the light, but yeah, compostable, um, this is compostable, I believe, um, that's not the thing I have the problem with, what I do have a problem with, though, is like how it's got the wheels right here, and now if I try to pull it out, it's gonna like tug on the wheels, and I just don't want it to ruin like the axles or anything like that, but Let's see. I want to bend the axles. It's coming out. Can I rip this thing? Oh, that didn't help. There you go. Be free. There you go. Yeah. Uh, Nissan Townstar 2022. What was the move, uh, moving feature for this thing? So it's a door. See? It's a door. Now it's like I move it like this. I don't want to get this thing out. How do you move it? Some... What? Hold on. Let's 
Excuse me for just one moment. As I try to work a uh, 164 bottle of a 2022 Nissan Townstar. This thing help. What the heck? How does this work? So it moves, but I can't get it to move. Do I have to like pull on it? Oh no. Batteries at 5%. Okay, I'm going to have to make this quick. I'll make a sequel on that. Uh, 68 Mustang Cobra Jet. Let's just rip this one open. I believe this one's from 98, I want to say. I don't know. This is my phone telling me to hurry the hell up. Is it half suspension? No. Oh, well, maybe. I don't know. This thing rolls pretty well. Figured we'd end off on a classic Matchbox model, classic car in general, 1968. This thing looks pretty beefy for a Mustang, for a Matchbox model too, but, you know, proportions aside, pretty sweet paint job. Um, this thing looks pretty freaking sick, man. No features on this, but, oh well. But yeah, that's going to... I'll do it for this little six car review. Thanks for checking it out. Just realized they're all um, real cars, but thanks for checking it out. Um, if you'll excuse me, I still have some water to work on. See ya.